have an older doll from about the 1960s that was given to her oldest daughter when she was about three years old. Since she's been around, some strange, unexplainable things have been happening. Before we get too far ahead, I want to give you a little background on life with Daisy before now. About 10 years ago, one of my very good friends and I used to go to local auctions and occasionally bid on various items of interest. When going through what my friend brought, she came across a doll at the bottom of one of the boxes. The doll was an older one with orange yarn hair, a soft plastic face, and a fabric body. My friend immediately thought of my oldest daughter, Sierra, and gave it to her as a gift. Because of the age of the doll, I decided to put her on a shelf in Sierra's room where she couldn't play with it. I didn't know anything about it and wanted to keep her in one piece for a little while. The first night the doll was in the room, Sierra would just sit there and stare at it. After about a week of this, I asked her why she keeps staring at the doll. Sierra told me she didn't like the doll and wanted it out of her room. I convinced her to leave it there on the shelf for a little while longer. A few weeks later, our youngest daughter was born. That's about the time things really started to get creepy. When I would be up with the baby at night sometimes, I would hear walking around the house. I just chalked it up to the old house making house noises. When our youngest daughter finally moved to the crib in Sierra's room, we had the baby monitor set up. It wasn't one of those video monitors, but now I wish it was. Cheyenne, the baby, would wake up almost every night about 3 a.m. I couldn't figure out why until one night she didn't wake up screaming. I woke up and waited for it to happen. All was quiet. I sat there listening for a few minutes before deciding to lay back down. Once back in bed, I heard what sounded like a little girl's giggling over the monitor. I slowly climbed out of bed and went to the girl's room thinking Sierra was up playing or something. When I got to the room, I saw that both the girls were sound asleep. I just stood there for a few minutes making sure when I heard something whispered, Startled, I looked around and saw nothing. I figured maybe I was hearing things because of being so tired because I'm not sleeping much anymore. The next morning, Sierra came to me and asked if we could take the doll out of her room now. She said the doll really scares her. Reluctantly, I agreed. I didn't know where to put the doll, so I just set it on a chest in my bedroom. The walking noises continued, but I never did hear that giggling again. The doll remained in my room for several years and was eventually buried in a corner. During the time she was in my room, strange things began to happen to me personally. My moods would constantly be up and down and I always felt angry for no reason at all. And then the strange shadow started. Because I was already feeling like I was going crazy with my moods, I decided to just ignore the shadows until one night. I don't remember the time. I just woke up for no reason and couldn't move. I could only move my eyes and nothing else. This scared me. I tried to scream or make any kind of noise in hopes of waking my husband up. Nothing worked. I finally settled down for a minute and that's when I noticed a large shadow above me in the ceiling with glowing eyes and I also felt the worst anger and rage I have ever felt in my entire life. To this day, it scares the hell out of me thinking how I felt that night. I am so thankful I couldn't move because of the rage. It might have made me do something to hurt one of the ones I love. Somehow during this rage, I felt something just snap in me and I just started praying. Over and over I prayed for what seemed like hours. Finally, I could move again. By that time, it was about morning and I decided to get up instead of waking my husband up. He needed to get up in about an hour or so anyway for work. I just went into the kitchen and calmed down. After that awful night, things just seemed to kind of return to normal for me and I never had another episode like that again. 
I had completely forgotten about the doll until the day I was packing our room to move to our new house we had just bought. While I was looking at the doll, trying to decide what to do with it, I noticed she did have a tag on her right arm. The tag said her name was Daisy and the date was 1961. It also stated she had orange yarn hair. Thinking it was pretty cool I finally had some information on this doll, I decided to keep her and put her in a box to move to the new house. I decided while unpacking boxes in the living room that Daisy would sit on the rocking chair in the corner. Not long after placing her in her new home, things started happening again. First thing, Sierra continually complains about how creepy the doll is, and she won't even go anywhere near her. Now, the rocking chair sits right by our bedroom door. And personally, between you and I, I also think the doll's a little creepy looking. I always feel like she's watching me. Daisy has some pretty strange looking eyes to me. They are painted on, which isn't so strange, but they're looking off to the right. Ever since I placed her in a chair, we also hear walking sounds around this house. Mostly in the dining room, which is right beside our bedroom. That section of the house is the newer addition. At first, I thought those noises were the house just doing its thing, or maybe even one of the kids sneaking around. The walking sounds would always happen right after we get in bed. I even tried to catch one of the kids walking around, but as soon as I heard the sound and went to see, there was nothing there. This past summer, we were having a picnic at our house. After dark, all the kids decided they wanted to go inside and watch TV. The rest of the adults, we all just stayed out by the bar. Then the storm started. The adults decided we'd just hang out under the canopy for a while as they passed. And about 20 minutes later, the storm started to get worse. The lights started to flicker and then they suddenly went out. Chalking it up to the storm, we all just ignored it and my husband hooked the generator up. That's when our youngest daughter came running outside to us scared. She told us her older brother, Joey, slammed Daisy on the ground because he wanted the chair she was sitting in. She also said he was picking on Sierra for being scared of the doll. She said as soon as the doll hit the floor, that's when the lights went out. All the kids in the house were scared. I went inside and calmed everyone down, and of course I gave Joey hell for treating my stuff like that. He apologized, and I took the doll to my room, temporarily. Things were okay for a while after that, other than the sounds once in a while of walking. That is until October of this year. Sierra started telling me that while she was waiting for the bus in the mornings, it's still dark when she leaves, as she looks back at the window, she sees what looks like a man standing there. She said it's not every morning, but when it stands there, it just stands for a few minutes staring and then moves away. And when I was at home alone, the kids were all at school and I had just gotten out of the shower. I had my bedroom door open since I was alone. Out of nowhere, I started to hear what sounded like all the doors in the house slamming shut one by one. I grabbed my towel and went to look, and all the doors were just like we left them. I quickly went back to my room and locked the door. I didn't know what was happening. At first, I thought, well, maybe somebody broke in while I was in the shower. After getting dressed, I grabbed my phone and went and looked. Nobody was here. Not a single person other than myself was in this house. I quickly went downstairs to our sunroom, and that is where I stayed for the rest of the day. Now, we are still hearing the sounds of walking in the house, but have now started seeing shadows outside in the yard. It appears to be a man. It's not the shadows of the neighbors. We are out in the country away from most of our neighbors. And besides, at that time of night we see the shadows, all the neighbors are in bed. I don't want to say it's Daisy, but it is a little funny how these things happen when she's around. When we talk to see